Good day, it's Rowena Liss, professional image organizer and speaker of Getting It Together. People constantly ask me, what is the difference between a collection and clutter? Well, first of all, you have to ask yourself, did you start the collection? A perfect example is a client of mine who's a professor at UBC was given an owl when she became a professor. And so then somebody walked through her office, saw this owl and thought to themselves, oh, she must like owls. And so when they went on a trip, they came back and brought her an owl. Well, now she has two owls. This makes a collection. She didn't start the collection. She's not that fond of owls, but somebody else went somewhere. They saw an owl, they brought her another one. Before you know it, her office was just taken over with owls. So what we did is we went through and she selected the five or six really, really key special ones to her and then pass the other ones on with love to other professors at her university. Because when there's too many of the one item, then it starts to get cluttery. If it takes over your place or over your shelves or everywhere you turn, you see owls or teapots or salt and pepper shakers, then it becomes cluttery. Any collection that you have, best to have it in one particular area so you can really showcase it and show it off as opposed to throughout your entire house. So that's just a short little tip on collections versus clutter. Ask yourself, is, is it something that you would have really started? Do you really like to have those items around you? Do you love them? Do, they feel, do, do you feel good around them? Or is it clutter and it's time for them to be passed on? Keep your questions coming and inquiries and I look forward to hearing from you at gettingittogether.ca.